Hi guys, hey kids, hey photographers, welcome to the Frankfurt Airport. We're here because Canon gave me the 800mm f5.6 and we're going to test this lens out at Frankfurt Airport. <laughs> <laughs> Yahoo guys, Canon provides this big case for the lens as well. Luckily because the lens seems to be well protected. It has its advantages and as well as its disadvantages. The major disadvantage is that it has no wheels and it's quite heavy after a while. But that's meant to be the way because you should not come to the stupid idea to roll this case with the lens over rough surfaces. Anyways, good stuff to have for 13,000 euros. Yeah, of course, can't finish the review without doing an unboxing of this lens. As I have said before, it's well protected and there is an extra strap in this case to hold the lens in place to carry it around with you. There are two additional keys to lock the case. Let's take a look what you can expect for 13,000 euro. Of course, a gigantic focal length and a relatively open aperture of f5.6. Additionally, you get a great working image stabilizer that allows up to four times longer exposure times. But I will talk about that later. The dust and splash protection is included and the build quality is second to none on this lens. We'll take a look on the included lens hood as well in a bit. The huge front element provides you from using a filter. If you still need one, there is a place to attach a 52mm drop-in filter near the bayonet. That altogether weighs just 4500 grams, which is quite good if you compare it to the 600mm, which weighs 5400 grams in the Mark 1 version. And naturally you get a lens hood as well. In this case it's the ET155 for about 500 euros if you lose it. Luckily there's one in the box so make sure you take good care of it. So many people were watching or spotting these planes. Strange isn't it? You get as close seeing the pilot phase on your screen and all other details of the plane. If you want to have more fun try using the lens with the 1.4 or 2x extender which will double the focal length of 800mm. I have to tell it's not the best example testing this lens for spotting, because if you would have it, you probably would use it rather for wildlife than for spotting. You're way too close to the aircraft with 800mm of focal length, I'd rather recommend using the 100-400mm. to But I have to tell the outer focus is pretty fast on these fast subjects. With regard to the focus speed you will be well equipped with this lens especially when you're doing wildlife photography or sport. It takes just a second to focus in most cases and therefore it's just perfect for fast moving subject. I would say you really rarely use this lens for sport because you might be just too close into the event. The closest focusing distance is at about 6 meters which is not more than 20 feet. So you have to go a huge step back just to focus on your subject. Once it's in focus the final image looks quite impressive. But I think you agree what I'm saying, it's not meant to be a lens for flyer or macro photography. Okay guys, you would probably never buy a 800mm f5.6 to shoot portraits or other people. But nevertheless, I'm gonna show you that you still can do it if you get the 800mm into your hands. You may take portraits with this lens as well. You can take your shots easily a mile away and you don't need to be worried about bothering your subject at all. So if you're James Bond or your main income depends on spying other people and you have 13k spare, why not getting this lens? But is there actually someone out there who really uses this lens? Please write a comment below for what are you using this lens? I'm really interested in knowing that. And by the way, of course, you can take portraits with this lens as well. You can easily blur out the background and you'll get a nice bokeh even at f5.6. And of course, this lens is equipped with an image stabilizer and you really need the image stabilizer. Even if I'm shooting here on a tripod, you can really tell the image is stabilized or not. I'll give you some few examples now. When you start filming or taking photos at a focal length of 800mm you probably need a really quiet hand or the best tripod in the world to avoid vibrations. I recommend using the provided image stabilizer as much as you can because it allows you up to 4 times longer exposure times. Here are a couple examples for you. So guys, and because it's more likely that you have a 70 to 200mm and let's say you need a comparison how much 800mm really is. I'm here outside in my hometown which is located southeast of Frankfurt and I'm gonna compare the 70 to 200 mil which is in the background to the 800 mil. 
Enjoy it! So the biggest focal length I have at home is the 70-200mm by Canon. For my personal needs, a 70-200 is perfect for most occasions. Sometimes I wish to have the 400mm, but that's kind of rare. But here's the point. When I would imagine working for BBC as a wildlife photographer during the winter time in the Himalaya, there's probably no better lens to use for spotting a seldom tiger, for instance. So you can easily attach the 1.4 or 2x extender by Canon as well, for the real fun, I mean. In the video description below is a link so you can compare these files at home as well. Okay, there are two reasons to have an 800mm lens. One is sport and the other one is wildlife photography. Seriously, I wouldn't buy that lens for sports because you're too close to your subject if you're on a soccer or football field. But for wildlife it's perfect. If you do safari or you're sitting in the Himalaya trying to shoot some lions, whatever. It's a good lens to have. And because we're in Frankfurt and we don't have real wild animals here, we go to the zoo and check out what you can do with 800 mil. <laughs> I think that's the one and only reason to have such a focal length in your company or maybe at home. It's all about wildlife photography with this huge focal length. That's the dream lens for every wildlife photographer out there I can imagine, who has enough power to carry this lens around by themselves. It doesn't matter if you shoot animals in a zoo or a safari or in the Rocky Mountains, there is no animal that would probably see you. You get a stunning image quality and an ultra sharp photo even shooting wide open at 5.6. All the details that you just get are stunning. To make your own opinion on this lens, just download these files, the link is in the video description below. Oh my dear, that's all I got to say, because it popped up in my mind that I can still give you some wildlife impressions because we have some deers here. Usually they run away, but because they know that I'm testing the 800 mil, they just come closer. And I actually want them farther away. But nevertheless, I'm going to show you what you can do with 800 mil compared with 70 to 200 mil. Enjoy! Also, in terms of vignetting, you don't need to be worried at all. Shooting at 5.6 gives you some dark edges, but as soon as you stop down to 7.1 or 8, you shouldn't see them anymore. Anyways, there's nothing that Lightroom or Photoshop can't fix. These files are available as a download, the link is under this video. Also on this lens, you find some lens flare as well, but it's not really pronounced that much. And can you imagine yourself pointing this lens straight into the sun for no reason? No, probably not except for a solar eclipse. Or try to point this lens to the moon, but therefore you don't need to be worried about lens flare at all. I think if you're planning to buy this lens, you won't worry about chromatic aberrations at all. More on the price, probably. But just to let you know, there's just a tiny bit of green glance shooting at f5.6. Convince yourself these files are available as a download. The link is in the video description below. I hope that you enjoyed watching this review in English. The 800mm has its advantages in a fabulous build quality and its lightweight, compared to other telephoto lenses. Of course, spending 13k is not that easy, but if you use it as a wildlife reporter, there are not many other lenses that can keep up with this one here. Thanks to Canon for this lens. There is a direct link in the description below that guides you to Canon. If you like to purchase this lens in Frankfurt, you're welcome to Frankfurt's best store, GM Photo, near the central station. See you soon und tschüss from Germany. And I just said that you can use this lens for vlogging with the small switch that I found out. I think it's specifically just on that lens, not on every 800mm lens. Then you can take it and just block yourself and you get a really nice decent blur background.